In the last couple of lectures, we talked about two structural directives, ng for and ng if. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about some attribute directives. And one of the attribute directives is the ng style directive. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about ng style directive, which is an attribute directive. The ng style directive is an attribute directive which allows us to set many inline styles of an HTML element using TypeScript expression. Now, this definition might sound a bit difficult. So, let's try to understand ng style directive with a practical example. And then we will come back to this definition. To understand ng style directive, what I want is here in this product card div, I want to add one more div. And there I want to show if the product is available or not. Let me close this terminal for now. And on this div, let me go ahead and let me add a CSS class. Let's call it eCart product availability or eCart product in stock. And let's go ahead and let's add some CSS style for this CSS class. So let's go to product list component.css. Let's scroll down. And here, let me go ahead and let me add that class here. So I want to apply the same style on this div, which we are applying on these two divs okay nothing special here later if you want to add some more styles we can add it using this css class anyway now inside this div i want to show if a product is available or not so for that let's go to product list component.ts file and here inside this product array we have a list of products and there each product has this property called is in inventory so if this is in inventory is true in that case, we want to show in stock. And if this is in inventory is false, in that case, we want to show not available in stock. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. To do that here, we'll use string interpolation syntax. And in there, first we will check one condition. So basically here, I'm going to use a ternary operator. If the condition of that ternary operator returns true, then I will return a string value available in stock. Otherwise, I will return a string value not available in stock. So the condition here will be prod dot is in inventory. Okay. So this expression here, either it will return true or false because this is in inventory. It is a Boolean value. So it will either return true or it will return false. So if it returns true, in that case, we want to return a string value available in stock. Otherwise, we want to return another string value not available in stock. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you will see that text available in stock if is in inventory is true. And you will see not available in stock if is in inventory is false. Okay. Now what I want is I want to apply some styles on this. Basically, I want to make this not available in stock or this text available in stock to bold. For that, we can use ng style directive. So on this div, let me first go ahead and let me move this content of that div in another line so that it will be more readable. And here I'm going to use ng style directive. In order to use this ng style directive, keep in mind that it is an attribute directive. So we need to use it like an attribute directive. And we use an attribute directive by wrapping it within square brackets like this. So now we are using it like an attribute directive. And now inside these double quotes, we can write some CSS style for this div using this ng style directive. And for that in there, we need to use a set of curly braces like this. And inside that we can specify some CSS style. And in there, I want to set the font weight to bold so for that to this font weight i can assign a string value bold okay if i save the changes if i go to the web page you will see that that text not available in stock or available in stock it is now bolded so in this way we can use this ng style directive to add some css styles but now you can say that for that we can also use style attribute then why do we need a directive like ng style? Well, using ng style directive, we can add a CSS style dynamically. Let me actually show you that. So let's keep this font weight bold. But now what we want to do is 
if the product is available in stock we want to show it in green but if the product is not available in stock we want to show it in red so for that here we are going to set the color property okay and to this color property we want to assign a value dynamically based on a given condition so here we are going to check if prod dot is in inventory let me use that condition there so this value here it will return either true or false because this is in inventory it is a boolean value right if i go to this product this component dot ts you will see that here we have this is in inventory property and it is storing a boolean value either true or false so it is going to return a boolean value so if it returns true in that case we want to set the color to green so for that here i'm going to use ternary operator i will use this question mark here and from there i want to return green but if this is in inventory returns false in that case i want to return red okay so if this condition here if it returns true in that case we want to assign this color property with the value green otherwise if it returns false we want to assign this color property with the value red so now if you go to the web page you see that those products which are not available in stock that not available in stock text is rendered in red but the products which are available in stock that available in stock text is rendered in green okay so this is the use of ng style directive using ng style directive we can set a css style dynamically coming back to the definition of ng style directive it is an attribute directive which allows us to set many inline styles of an html element using expression so we saw that this ng style directive it is an attribute directive and it allows us to set many inline css styles on an html element using some typescript expression so based on the expression it will dynamically set a style on an html element i hope now this definition is clear so the ng style directive is used to set a css style dynamically on an html element based on a given typescript expression and the ng style directive it is an attribute directive it changes the look or behavior of the html element it does not add or remove anything from the dom now in the coming lectures we are going to use this ng style directive a lot so in future lectures you will see a lot more use cases where we can use this ng style directive but for now this is all about ng style directive i hope you now understand where we can use ng style directive in angular so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day